Elon Musk is a well-known entrepreneur and visionary who has made a name for himself through his groundbreaking innovations and ambitious projects, ranging from electric cars. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh, zero to sixty in one point nine nine seconds. To space exploration. That's one. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you see him both light up? But have you ever wondered how he comes up with these ideas and makes them a reality? One key factor in his success is his use of a problem-solving approach called first principles thinking, which is derived from physics and involves breaking down complex problems into their fundamental parts and then reassembling them from scratch. A good framework for thinking is physics, you know, the sort of first principles reasoning. I mean, generally, the, I think there are... Um, what, what I mean by that is uh, boil things down to the, the, their fundamental truths and reason up from there, as opposed to reasoning by analogy. First principle thinking is an approach that requires questioning assumptions and thinking creatively about ways to solve a problem. It is a method that is useful in many contexts, including business, science, and engineering. By using first principles thinking, Elon Musk is able to approach problems in a new and innovative way, and this has helped him achieve success in his various ventures. You kind of boil things down to the most fundamental truths. So, so first principles would be to say, okay, what are the material constituents of the batteries? Mm -hmm. What is the spot market value of the material constituents? So you can say, okay, it's got cobalt, nickel, aluminum, carbon, um, and some polymers for separation, and a seal can. So break that down in, on a material basis and say, okay, what? If we bought that in the London Metal Exchange, what would each of those things cost? Like, oh, geez, uh, it's like $80 uh, 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 per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. So clearly, you just need to think of clever ways to take those materials and combine them into the shape of a battery cell, and you can have batteries that are much, much cheaper than anyone realizes. The first step in first principle thinking is to question everything you know about a problem or situation. Don't take anything for granted, even if it seems obvious. Ask yourself why things are the way they are and whether there might be a better way. By doing this, you can identify assumptions that may be limiting your thinking and find new ways to approach the problem. So they're used to, their idea of an electric car is something that doesn't look good, isn't fast, doesn't have high performance, has low range. We wanted to break the mold of all of that and so produce something that was beautiful, uh, had high acceleration, incredible handling, uh, had tons of capability, lots of room, um, and really was better than any gasoline car. That's what we sought to achieve. Once you've questioned everything, the next step is to break the problem down into its fundamental parts. Identify the key components that make up the problem and think about how they interact with one another. This can help you understand the problem better and identify new opportunities for solving it. Now that you've broken the problem down, it's time to build it back up again. Use your creativity and imagination to come up with new ways to solve the problem. Don't be afraid to think outside the box and challenge conventional wisdom. Uh, give, me, <laughs> give, me the, give me the fast way. The fast way is, is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. You're a super villain! <laughs> this is where you can use your knowledge and expertise to find innovative solutions. Like what are the th set of things that can be done to make the future better? In a future where we are a space-faring civilization and out there among the stars, I think that's very exciting. That is a thing we want. Finally, test your ideas to see if they work. Use data and experimentation to validate your assumptions and refine your ideas. Be willing to fail and learn from your mistakes. This is an essential step in the first principles thinking process as it helps you to identify flaws in your thinking and refine your ideas. Uh, wasn't that kind of fast the way he took off? Yeah, it was maybe a little fast to turn off. Now we're gonna do it with, uh, with autopilot off. Okay. You so how fast up, think, could it go? Uh, I mean, we've taken it up to, what, 80 miles an hour or something? Whoa, 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 whoa. By using first principles thinking, you can approach problems in a new and innovative way, just like Elon Musk. So the next time you're faced with a complex problem, remember to question everything, break it down, build it up, and test your ideas. With practice, you too can become a first principles thinker and start achieving success in your own endeavors.